Okay, yeah, we've just finished the game versus Ireland. Uh, what was that game like for you today? Yeah, it was a it was a tough battle physically. We always knew the set piece and the fence would be a massive challenge for us. But I think the first half was good. We go we, we went well, had confidence. Just maybe the second half we slipped off a bit. But yeah, with the crowd here at the Viva Stadium in Dublin, it's always going to be tough against one of the world's best uh, rugby sides. So. It's really good bits, but we're just a bit off with some of the you know, contact bits and um, territory game, maybe the ball in hand. Just little mistakes we could do better and improve for the next few tests. And you scored a try, obviously, in that first half where we played so well. And talk us through what it was like to score for Scotland today. Yeah, no, it was incredible. I just loved playing for Scotland and um, it was a bit of a show and go. And I think uh, Amy Schwartzen pushed me over. So all credit to the boys at the back. That's the end of the Six Nations now, um, and it was your first Six Nations with the team. How have you found the overall experience of playing in the tournament? I, I just told Rambo after the game, Stuart McAnally, after my wedding day, this is the best experience of my life. Um, but it comes, it comes with a great responsibility as well, you know, individually and collectively. Um, some work on to improve as ever, as always, and come back with um, confidence and, you know, improve. You learn a lot in these test matches. Started well in the Six Nations, a bit off against Wales, France was tough, but we learned so much. Um, Italy and Rome, and now this one, you know, France, Ireland, next year in the World Cup, we're going to be in the same pool as Ireland Springbok. So we have to be on it and learn from this and take this experience in the, in the future. What's it been like to experience fans back at these games? Because obviously, now we'll forget that we've, it's been quite a while without them. What's it been like to play in front of full stadiums again? Yeah, mate, it's incredible. Uh, it feels like a PlayStation game with the Six Nations, the crowd singing collectively. Irish fans is great. I mean, the Scottish fans that went to Italy, I think 15,000. <clears> it's incredible, you know, to have that support. And um, the Six Nations is really a special tournament to be part of. Um, you know, it's centuries old and the fans just love it. Um, there, there was an MTC tonight as well. And it's just incredible. It's, it's a rugby unites people, and it's great, you know, to get to get that home, home advantage, but also away. You get some advantage of the fans travelling.